Hello guys, Avery Moser, and today we're going to be look, taking a look at the um, M1930, M35 uh, uh, German Stahlhelm, or German helmet, steel helmet, World War II steel helmet and World War II M1 helmet, US M1 helmet, so let's get right into it. First, we got the... M1, I mean the M35 helmet, German uh, star helmet or steel helmet. So you can see, um, I have an SS decal and the SWAT sticker decal. And you can see that right here. It like goes more down. It's like up and then in where your helmet is. It goes up and then where it is. See right there. And see it the this the lip of the helmet or whatever is folded over there. So yeah. <clears throat> uh, nice metal. Got the um vent hole or whatever, like the air hole or whatever it's for. I don't know if exactly what it's for, but then you can see right here that right there and that right there, and the one on the back, and then one on the other side. You can see. Those are to hold the liner in, cause going it's like going in connecting to the liner right there. You can see it well, probably not, but yeah, it's like a screw kind of thing. I don't know exactly what it is, but it goes in, connects to the liner, so it holds it in. But this aluminum band all the way around. See it back there, and <clears throat> leather. Uh. Nice leather uh, um, liner, and you can see there's like kind of a rope in here holding it together. You can't adjust it, make it put it in these other holes. So yeah, nice thick leather chin strap. I just have it put over the um, front of my helmet. So yeah, uh, you can see right here, the the part that hooks the chin strap on is like pointy, I'm pretty sure, and the M40 and M42, I think they are, they're rounded off, but I'm not positive on that, I might be wrong, but yeah, so there's a leather, it's, this whole helmet's all one piece. Unlike the, um, the M1 helmet, you can see, uh, still, uh, still, my nice metal, you can see these are, this one, the, uh, German helmet is a little darker, I don't know if these are the exact right colors, but pretty close, so, you can see, the chin strap folded around back and right there you can see the second ranger division or second ranger battalion uh yeah roll this around there i have one of the snaps right here i have one i ordered it but i don't know when it's gonna come in the mail i ordered it a couple weeks ago one of these Clips for the helmet because this one I lost one because it came undone. <clears throat> See the a nice thick leather uh, liner strap or whatever. Keep the liner and nice. Um, See got the grill what that's called down there. Just goes back. Snaps on if I can get it. Um, 
Yeah, and I'll just take out the liner real quick. I did have a netting on it, but not anymore. Took it off, so that just comes off. And you can see the liner comes out. I'm pretty sure this in World War II, the US helmet was the only helmet that had like two pieces. But I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure like those two separate parts. But you can see all these to hold the liner in. It's kind of like those on the German helmet to hold the liner in. But this is just goes on the inside. It's plastic. Um. Yeah. See the leather sweatband right there. I have some stuff in here. Obviously, a lot of soldiers would do that. Maybe pictures and everything. So yeah. Um. See down here, same uh per thing with like. And on the German helmet, it ties down here to keep all the all of it together, so it fits nice on your head. Same with right here on the U.S. helmet. Yeah, but this one's more the U.S. helmet's more round on top, and German helmet is like more flat. You can see. So yeah. Um. Yeah, that's pretty simple. You just slide the liner back in there and hold this over. I have a, well, I already told you guys, but I think I already told you guys. I'm not sure. My aunt has my original M1 helmet, but it has a post-war liner. Uh, she picked it up because we found one. It was not too far away from her. Only like uh, 10 minutes. So we had her pick it up. We haven't got it from her yet. So I want to get that. And my um, World War II folding shovel cover is uh, supposed to be in by tomorrow. In the mail by tomorrow. So hopefully it comes. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. I want to get a different chin, chin strap. It's more like a, um, uh, what is it? A, one of the ones that, like, are skinnier all through, and they hook. Like, they have a kind of hook on it. So, I want to get one of those. But, yeah. Um, and this is an M M35 helmet, a uh, German helmet, so you can see earlier in the war, they had, uh, earlier in the war, they, uh, had double decals like this, and then later in the war, they would, were supposed to remove at least one, I think, might have been, then late, late in the war, I'm not sure if you were allowed to have any, I think you were allowed to have one. But you would have to, it'd be like, you sand it off or paint over it. You would have to do. You can still see late, later in the war. You can still see photos with people with double decals. Uh, Germans with double decals, so. Yeah. Um. But, um, I think this is a aluminum buckle, maybe. On here. It's just like a belt buckle. So, yeah, um, I like this helmet, uh, uh, I like this, both these helmets a lot. When I get my original, uh, USM1 helmet, I'll probably use that. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys. So, in my one of my last videos, I showed my World War II original items. If you guys haven't seen that, you guys can go check it out. And I forgot to put uh, this in, in it right here. I have a review on it. 
I put in my World War II stretcher. It's just under it there. Yeah. So. Yeah. That, I just wanted to tell you guys that. I forgot to show that in my original items video. But yeah, like I said, you guys can go check that out. And that's it for this video.